operated a successful YouTube channel. I'm the one who just filed for bankruptcy. I'm the one who didn't pay my taxes. I'm the one, me, me. I'm the one who masturbated in front of children. I'm the one who got fourth place at Evo. I'm the one with a 10 year legacy. I'm the one, me, me. Jill Murray spends his whole fucking day talking about Phil. Yo, what up, guys? It's your boy, Chill. And man, last night, if you uh, saw the video I made, <laughs> Phil wanted to act like he knows so much about rollback netcode, and he thinks it's trash, and he thinks we're all wrong, you know what I mean? He thinks the majority of the FGC is wrong, and he's right, because he's Phil Burnell. You know, he, he got fourth place at EVO fucking eons ago. So, you know, whatever he says holds weight, failed business, and all this going on. So, yeah, remember to like, subscribe, comment, and, yeah, we're about to watch Phil just rant and rave, dude, real quick. And chill show, we've got a lot to talk about today, including a big follow-up to yesterday's events here on stream. We've got the fallout from EVO. Last night, there were three major announcements at EVO Finals that I'd like to actually talk about on the stream today because they all will likely directly affect things that I'll be doing in the future. Um, as well as a little bit of a follow-up to yesterday's story where I talked about netcode, which some people took offense, of course, because every time I open my mouth, some people take offense. Boo-hoo. Boo-hoo. No, Phil. It's not that people took offense because of it's your opinion. It's because it's it's straight up babbling misinformation about rollback netcode. Like, point blank, period. Like, Phil acts like you should just start teleporting all over the screen and stuff like that. But like I said, go watch my last video and you can get a deeper dive into, like, what rollback netcode is. But Phil is Phil. Just he lets bullshit fall out of his mouth and he doesn't take responsibility for it. Like, you think out after, like, people giving you shit for your horrible take, Phil, you would, like, do a little bit of research and go, hey, I was a little wrong, but this is what I thought it was, yada, yada, yada. But nope, Phil can't fucking admit he's wrong. He does everything correct. He's always right. So, now that you're all incredibly bored, let's get started with the show. Bro, Phil is such a cuck. I went to make a comment and these rules pop up. <laughs> Please be courteous to all others when possible. No insults. Absolutely no referencing of retractor hater content. <laughs> oh my god, Phil, you wilded out. Man, I'm telling you, this is the end. <laughs> sure, let's talk about the past. Let's talk about yesterday. All right? So yesterday's streams were actually quite enjoyable. First of all, on the Level 1 podcast, I talked about Netcode. All right? I talked about delay-based versus rollback netco. How pretty much the entirety of the fighting game community seems to be in this very mindless consensus that rollback netcode is the solution to everyone's problems with playing games online. And if a fighting game doesn't have rollback netcode, it's trash. But if it has rollback netcode, it's perfect. And I so what Phil? Phil, what you're telling me that? When about 95%, like no, with 99% of the fighting game community thinks that rollback netcode is good and better than a lot of the other solutions we have, we're brainless. But the 1% isn't, which is you, Phil. <laughs> okay, I'm, I, I'll try to wrap my head around that for you, Philip. <laughs> like, get out of here. Phil's the, the dumbest dude I have ever seen stream <laughs> get out of here rollback netcode is the best solution we have right now man i'm talking like gameplay has been buttery smooth so far being a former professional fighting game player what i think about rollback netcode not that i dislike it but that i don't feel like it's flawless or the end all be all i gave some comparisons i tried to do some anecdotes all right some people took offense so, allow me to reiterate a few things or elaborate a few things. No, I don't believe that everyone who's pushing for rollback netcode is a shill or a sellout. There may be a few of them, all right? But I'm not saying everyone is. What I'm saying is there just seems to be this mindless belief system in the fighting game community that rollback netcode is the best. 
and then you have a few people who are like authorities in the community who come out with these technical videos explaining this data here and this data here. The vast majority of people in the FGC don't understand that. They don't know what that means. They don't ever watch those videos or get it. They just get told rollback netcode's better, so they just believe it. What the fuck is Phil saying, dude? Oh! <laughs> oh, dude! <laughs> oh, no, Phil. This is the... Re no, God, I almost dropped a hard R. I gotta watch my words. <laughs> Man, this is the stupidest fucking take I've ever seen about rollback netcode, dude. This is the stupidest take I've seen Phil do in a good little bit man like he's really calling all everybody in the fgc stupid but, but and he acts like we can't do our own analysis and look into shit where's your data phil how about you do a video showing how you know rollback netcode isn't that great phil he won't he's just gonna sit here and go eh, it's not it's not good because i'm a professional you see i got fourth place in evo i'm a you know like what the fuck you're a failed streamer phil like literally you eat more phlegm than you consume that that seltzer water like get out of here <laughs> Oh, man, Phil has gone insane. He's on full tilt right now, dude. Like, why can't you just admit you're wrong? Why does he have to act like he's, like, you know, that 25-year-old edgelord like he used to be, you know? Like, Phil, like, bro, like, you know, oh, my God. It's like, imagine when cars were invented, you know? He'd be still riding on a fucking horse saying that people that think cars are the best new thing are stupid and brainless was not to try to expose some conspiracy about rollback netcode. It was to try to explain in layman's terms the difference between the old school delay-based netcode and the more modernized rollback netcode, but still explain that rollback netcode is not perfect because there is this misconception at the FGC that rollback netcode is flawlessly perfect. The best we can get, it should be in everything. The point I was making yesterday, all right? <clears throat> excuse me was that we should demand better. If we literally just say, okay, rollback's the best that we're gonna get, you'll never get anything better. You'll just get the same netcode over and over. And what I've noticed in the past 10 years is that everyone screams for rollback, the games get it, and they all play the same. They all have the teleporting, the skipped frames, the dropped inputs. Oh, you go forward, then you go back in time and rewind. I don't like that. I want better. I know we can do better. How about you start with your fucking stream, Phil? the hell he's literally projecting onto like the fgc right now man like phil we know there there can be better a dude with common sense knows that there's someone interested in this technology and they're trying to work on it and make it better how do you think things get better phil <laughs> like he thinks you know things just happen and they stop you know what i'm saying like, what, that blows my fucking brain. I'm about to have a brain aneurysm because of it. Like, literally. I need to go to the goddamn doctor and get my head checked. I'm watching too much DSP. <laughs> oh, I can't take it when he says some dumbass shit like this, dude. Like, Phil, we know things can get, be better than this. No one's sitting here like, yep, this is it. This is the end-all, be-all. Like, bro, one day there's gonna be a better system. One day it's... I'm trying to tell you, dude, our grandkids are probably going to be playing fighting games as if you're, you know, playing in the same room together and you're across the world from the other person. It's just going to take time and patience and work. Things that Phil doesn't have a fucking concept about in his head. You know what I mean? And he, oh, I don't, I don't understand this shit. <laughs> <laughs> like Phil, Phil played in some game tournaments, so he thinks he knows better than people who do. Bro, there are people who still play in game tournaments to this day. Where Phil quit a long time ago, you know, when he he realized he couldn't hack it, dude. You know, and they know they're saying that rollback netcode is good. How are you the only fucking guy that doesn't really understand how rollback netcode works? It's like he read something in the New York Times and was like, oh, you know, like Phil's a simple minded fuck. But if you all demand the inferior net code, then you're never going to get better. And that's what I mean. Like at Evo this year, 
oh my god, it's announced that Dragon Ball Fighters finally has rollback netcode. And people are going crazy, they're flipping out. It's like, so, oh, so it has the, the standard netcode that everyone uses now. Why are we freaking out about this? If they said, oh, we're using new netcode that's gonna, we feel is gonna be better than rollback, then I would have actually gotten excited. It said, oh, we're just using the same netcode everyone else uses, that still kind of sucks. Oh, oh, I'm so excited now. Oh, you know. <clears throat> so I said this last night, and um, a few other observant viewers also pointed this out. And it's obvious, like, if you can't notice it right now, Phil is setting up rollback netcode to be the fall guy for him being shit at fighting games, you know? Because legitly, all he does is button mash, you know, he tries to use all these old school Street Fighter 2 techniques, and he tries to put them in other games, when like, yeah, you know, for the most part, fighters play the same, but they're all different, and they're all, you, you know, in unique ways, but Phil doesn't get that, you know, Phil's a fucking one, he's a one track dude, he just knows one thing, so it's like, nah, Phil, I, I, I don't buy this shit, dude. Like, rollback netcode legitly is the answer right now. Like, it's not the permanent answer. Everybody knows that. But it's the best we got for now. And there's people out there working on better. You know? But here's Phil. <laughs> oh, man. He's literally gonna... I'm trying to tell you. He's setting it up. So, when he loses... You know, he, he has no reason to blame lag anymore. Almost. It depends on the game. You know, if, they, if it uses rollback netcode, he will have zero excuse to blame lag. He can't go, hey, you see, he lag. it was all lag. It's lag's fault. When he's sitting here praising lag-based fucking netcode. The fuck out of here, dude. But again, it's all about hype. It's about marketing. And this is the point I was making yesterday. I am of the opinion you should also demand better. A lot of people don't want that. They just like, just be the status quo. I'm not about being the status quo. You guys know that. I always ask for more. Whether it's game developers, marketing departments, people on the internet who cover games. Likes, comments, tips, donations, super stickers, a super chat. And creators, I demand more. I want better from the gaming community. So when you tell me rollback netcode is already the standard, but you know, oh, we're just freak out that it's the best. I mean, it should be better. Take a look at my experiences with it firsthand. The documented evidence that it's not very good, but everyone says it's so good. No, it's not. I want more, okay? Bro, all the documented evidence just shows, Phil, that either your, your thumbs are broken or your brain's broken, a combination of both. You just suck at fighting games, period, dude. He's a scrub. <laughs> like, he needs to go out with the trash, dog. But yeah, man, that's it for that. Man, you know, same old Phil ranting about shit he doesn't know about, disrespecting fucking people that are better than him, and what he claims he's a professional, you know, what the fuck, he's, he's the most disrespectful little pig I've ever seen, <laughs> like, god damn, Phil needs a chill, <laughs> and you can tell he's totally projecting, like, pretty much how he runs his business onto, like, the FGC, I, de I demand better. You demand better. No, Phil, your fans demand better of you, bro. You should be demanding better of yourself. And you need to actually, like, look more into things and do more research besides reading, like, two articles and waving your hooves around and fucking flexing your ego like you're actually a somebody. <laughs> like, come on, he's a fucking fl flushed out scrub. Okay, I can beat him, bro. I swear to God, whenever if I'm ever able, I'm gonna stream snipe the shit out of Phil, and I'm gonna give him the big heavy hands in a fighting game, dude. All right. <laughs> Hope you all enjoyed it. Had some laughs with your boy. You already know. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good fun stuff. I'll try to catch you guys in the comments. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video, my friends. Peace. <laughs>
shit back. 